So, but, the point I'm trying to wrap around to with Devil May Cry 2, uh, in addition to, gee, it sure is hard to recommend this series to new people. <laughs> because it's either Star of Devil May Cry 1 and just have to deal with the jank. <laughs> because this is so jank. It is so aged. Compared to, like, what we expect of the series now. Uh, and just skip Devil May Cry 2. Just skip it. It's so fucking bad. Yeah, but, but well, that was interesting. <laughs> Devil May Cry 2 is bad. So we're using Stefan. <laughs> is bad in a different way compared to how DMC Devil May Cry the reboot game is bad. Because DMC 2 is bad because it's just a boring ass game. And you'll see that once we actually get to it. Because goddamn, is it just so fucking boring. But it, it's not like it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> it doesn't hurt me that that game exists. You can just ignore it. And just be like, fuck you, whatever. You can play through that game. It's actually not hard. You can you can play through <clears throat> DMC2 in like an afternoon. It's actually not that difficult. I mean, it's not like, it's not difficult to get through. It's also not a hard game. It's way too easy. That's one of the reasons it sucks. But... You can, it, it's not a big deal, right? You know, it's a waste of fucking time, but you can spend the time doing it. Um, the, the reboot, fucking DMC, actively offends me with its existence. <laughs> the fact that it exists makes me upset. I don't like that game. I don't like that it's real. I wish it wasn't a game that exists in this world that we live in. <laughs> It, it, like, it makes me feel bad inside that that game is a thing. There's a book that tells you ways that you enter the underworld. Evil is a reflection of man. Oh. Thus evil lurks inside the mirror. One of the devil's qualities may bring the blue stone elixir and stand before the mirror. So that's the telling you what the fucking puzzle is supposed to be. But, again, if you play this game enough times, you just kind of know what you're doing and are running on autopilot. But if you don't know, and if you're playing for this game for the first time, it's literally telling you, go to that room with the mirror. Remember yeah. the mirror? Go you to that room that. with the mirror. <laughs> Evil is the darkness, you as well as the man. shadows. It exists everywhere. Before one, there is light. There is darkness. In darkness, no shadow can exist. What? What? Oh, Japan. You Japan. don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. In the light... In the darkness, jump through the Mario 64 <laughs> picture painting, painting. and equ remember to equip Ifrit before you go through because you're gonna need that shit. And also remember to press the jump button immediately after this cutscene ends. <laughs> so here's a cool new enemy. They're ice dudes. They're like, yo, we're ice dudes. There's the moon. It's super cool. Fucking jump! Oh shit! You could, yeah, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> so, uh, in the lore, like in that enemy file, that enemy, every enemy in the game has. Also, they're weak to the fire because they're ice dudes. Um, it says that these 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 are ice monsters and they're attacking you with ice claws. It says that their claws are go below absolute zero. That makes not absolute zero. Below absolute zero. It doesn't make sense. They are freezing you in the stopped time. <laughs> they are freezing you outside of time itself. Their their slashes are like, god damn it. <laughs> so that's the that's the caliber of of like physics that Devil May Cry operates under. Yes. Not 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 not. not <laughs> Not absolute zero. Below absolute zero. You know. Jesus Christ. One number bigger than infinity. Infinity plus one. Yeah. I my monster has attack power that's infinity. <laughs> well my monster has attack power that's infinity plus one. Do 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 I'm telling mom off. Oh god. 
<laughs> Embarrassing. Stand my puppies. Oh my god, there's this hilarious story where, so back in the day when the DMC first came out, the DMC first came out, everyone was like, yo, Dante's a cool guy. I sure would like to have a cool statue of Dante. So Capcom, in their infinite wisdom, sent out uh, statues, uh, had like merchandise that stores would have to buy in order to stock them. Uh, like, I remember you told me, remember you told me that story of uh, the guy who bought the merchandising rights for Power Rangers. And they were like, dude, send us, sh send us shit. Even if it sucks. Even if, even if the shirts suck, even if it's missing buttons, we don't give a shit. Just send it. We need that shit. The yeah. demand is so fucking high. Yeah. So that's what was happening. Comic shops and game shops and game stops and stuff were like, dude, send, <laughs> like, we gotta get that DMC merch. Mm -hmm. DMC is so hot, everyone wants a figurine of Dante. Send us a statue of Dante so we can sell it to people for an exorbitant markup. And Capcom was like, oh, you want exorbitant markups, do you? <laughs> oh, you want to sell statues of the DMC, do you? Is that what you want? So the only way... Let us picture seagulls. <laughs> so the, the scale. <laughs> so the only way uh, to get... So, here's the puzzle. There's something right. So that's Pluto's dragon. So that's not a T-Rex. That's a dragon. And he's shooting fireballs. And we have to do the thing. So this is what teaches you that you can do this when you're fighting Phantom. Because when you first play the game, you don't know. But here's a puzzle that's really like, in order to progress, you have to f shoot the fireballs back at him. And then you're like, hey, who else shoots fireballs at you? Phantom. <laughs> and that makes you go, huh, maybe I can try doing that against Phantom. And you can. So this game did. So this game's awesome. Uh-huh. So, they're like, you, the only way to get a statue of Dante to sell at your store is you gotta buy a like a, a, a like a stock a of palette. figurines. Yeah. And Dante, there it comes with one Dante. You have to buy 50 fucking marionettes, 50 <laughs> puppets, and then you'll get one Dante. <laughs> so every comic store like just wants Dante. So they're just buying a shitload of marionettes in order to get... So, like, you gotta buy, like, 500 fucking marionettes in order to get three Dantes. <laughs> so every fucking comic or game store would be like, Okay, by the way... Uh, this isn't the continuation of my story, but... <laughs> a crystal ball filled with mercury. That's very dangerous. The mercury has lunar powers, though. Uh, okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> so if you wanted a statue of Dante, which you do, because of course you're running a fucking store for nerds and you want those nerds to buy your shit. So you want to want the figure of Dante because that's what they all want. God damn it. This fucking <laughs> camera. So every fucking comic book store or game shop would just have fucking shelves and shelves and rows and rows of the fucking puppets. <laughs> of the fucking marionettes that they yep. could not pay people to take off their hands. <laughs> and then one Dante for $800. Yes. And goddamn did those Dantes get sold. <laughs> goddamn did they make their money back. But just, you could not move that inventory for beans. <laughs> you couldn't get people to give you beans to get these fucking marionettes. <laughs> So Capcom's never been a particularly good company. No. But there have always been signs of what they would eventually become. <laughs> God damn it. Like, I like I couldn't talk about this while playing Resident Evil 2, because I didn't know. But, like, you know how Resident Evil 2 is, like, retarded, the new game, where it's like Annette fucking dies in, like, two fucking places at once, and, it's yes. and it doesn't make any sense? Uh, Someone literally system. said, dude, Capcom, release... DLC with like the canon ending. I'll pay for it. And I'm like, you're literally asking Capcom to do post release true ending paid DLC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just escaped that. <laughs> we just escaped Capcom being that evil. The first time they haven't been that. 
They've been doing that for like half a decade and we finally convinced them that no, you can be financially solvent by just making good games. You can. Mm -hmm. And now you're literally telling them to go back. Fuck you. There's a throne where the Castellian must have stood watch over his little celebrations and his court holdings. But you cannot sit on it like Leon can. <laughs> Therefore, Leon is cooler There's no than Dante. Time. So hey, I sure like fighting bosses three times in a row. <laughs> yeah. Dante's like, yeah! Man with guts and honor. Man with nuts and horns. I like that. But it's a shame you serve Mundus. You. And now, he powers up, and he grows larger for some reason, and it's really stupid. That's an adult thing. He becomes physically larger, and it's kind of dumb. <laughs> but he also takes off the helmet, and... Oh no! <laughs> Who does that look like? Oh yeah, and he becomes big. He becomes a big boy. It's big boy. That part's dumb. Yeah, the dual taunt. <laughs> so now he's just physically larger than you, and I think that's weird and dumb, but... So here we go. And now it turns out... Oh, shit. Yeah. So, that was the final fight against Nello Angelo, and he's took his helmet off and he also has white hair but he looks kind of evil because he has the blue lightning because he's like a servant of Mundus it's a shame you serve Mundus Mundus. says Dante oh jeez what the fuck oh the swords oh shit no 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 come down bitch oh, yeah, wait for the swords to out. finish God damn, Devil Trigger just shaves his health bar down. Shave that hairy ass. Even just the basic combo, because the basic combo is the four hit combo. Also, he can block lightning. I think that's fucking weird and cool. Oh <laughs> shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna die. Oops. Made a booby. Ooh. Oh, I died! Damn it! The first death. You died. Shockingly. Well, if it was gonna be against anyone, it should be against Nello Angelo. <laughs> If it should be against anyone, it should be Nello <laughs> Yeah, taunting him. Taunting your enemy. Oh, get some boy. So they're cool. Cool guy. Fighting Star Wolf here. <laughs> Up in this. Whoa, shit! Uh, he does the stinger, he does the fucking uh, helm splitter. Does the high time. High times magazine. Instead of guns, he has the swords. Which I think is dope. And he'll shoot like a Hadoken at you, just like you can if you're using Ifrit. Stop hitting me. Stop being a hard boss. Stop hitting yourself. Trying to do a thing, but it's taking a while. Shit. Chips. Isn't that music, by the way? I really love the music for this boss fight. <laughs> Super cool. Super cool dudes. Whoop. Whoop. Oh god, he's shooting meteors at me and has the swords going on. That final sword just wants to be an asshole. <laughs> No! God damn it! I died again. Damn. Guys. Oh my god. 
Well, it's a good way to appreciate the cool theme. I really like the theme. <laughs> So really what we should be doing against him is building up Devil Trigger and then using it immediately because it does extra damage against him. And like so much damage, like there's no reason to not be using Devil Trigger whenever you possibly can. Like look at how much that does. I don't know if Ifrit's better to use against him. I can't imagine it would be, because you gotta charge the shot so much. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Almost done. Okay, we got him. We got him. Yeah, there we go. Fuck you, Nello Angelo. But wait. There's more. Oh no, he's like, whoa. He's ex he, uh, and now he goes back to his home planet again. <laughs> we need him. And he blows up in an explosion uh, for the second time. Mm, question mark. Whatever. The second time we've seen. Oh, but then, oh no. Where have we seen that bad PS2 texture before? <laughs> Virgin, Dante, happy birthday. It was Virgil all along. Nello Angelo was Virgil. So the original Virgil fight was Virgil. And I like this cutscene because it's like, hey, I'm Mundus. Hey, Trish, you're my bitch. Go do my thing. Because it's like, if you haven't figured it out by now, you're yeah. fucking stupid. Trish is obviously working for Mundus. Like, you're like, oh, why is it telling you that now? It's weird spoiler. You're my like, bitch. No, you're dumb. She had yellow lightning the entire fucking game. She's clearly working for Mundus. <laughs> it was like, oh no, Nello Angelo was the Virgil. D is dickish. So, it wasn't just Virgil who codified the Virgil fight. It was Virgil. Virgil. All along. Virgil. It was you all along. So, now, Dante has his own amulet and Virgil's amulet, the memento from his mother, and he also has the memento from his father, the Force Edge. The perfect amulet, the combinade, com the combinade <laughs> form of Dante's pendant and Virgil's pendant. It'll and then, now he's got the Force Edge, the sword we have not used since the beginning of the game. And boom, it becomes, it becomes, uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah. It becomes the Soul Calibur. Look at that shit. Yeah. Look at now that. I am the Sparta. Bam. How cool am I? It just looks so much like Soul Calibur. It blows my mind how much it's Soul Calibur. <laughs> It's the true form of the Force Edge, the sword wielded by the legendary Dark Knight. Why do they keep calling him that? <laughs> uh, so now we're going into the man. We're going from the re return mansion, and we're starting to go down into uh, oh the lab. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. You're some kind of person who knows what things I'm about to say. <laughs> And more underwater. Yay. Because why not? After At having the cool Virgil fight, point. why would you not do more 
fucking underwater sequences. <laughs> you know. <sighs> Come here. Why? Can you do this? Why are you like this? It's controlled so fucking bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like hidden stuff down here. Oh. Oh, and then, yeah, fight these enemies that die in one hit if you shoot them in the head. While you're in a sequence where you can only shoot. That's stupid. Also, you know what else this reminds me of? They Remember when people would talk about when Resident Evil 7 was first coming out? And people would talk about, like, oh, when, like, the original demo for Resident... Like, the original concept for Resident Evil, the first game, was to have it be in first person. So maybe this is another thing, that it's like, oh gee, this sure was a Resident Evil game. Yeah. A sequence where you're in first person, except you're swimming. Yeah, except you're underwater. And it's fucking terrible. Wee. I do love that idea of, like, <laughs> coming out of the wall of water like that. <laughs> uh, so there's, like, one more thing we gotta do. Oh, one more uh, underwater sequence, by the way. There's one Yay. more thing we can do, and then we can go back into the lab. Uh, go down into the lab, because we haven't explored every area in the new mansion yet. There's a couple rooms we haven't been to. We've been almost everywhere, but there's two rooms we haven't been into yet. It's Philosopher's Egg. Oh, thanks, Knight. You're helpfully pointing the way for me. Thank you. Oh, so here's what's. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> so here's what sucks. You know how Ifrit and Sparta don't share, don't share the same moveset? I mean, Ifrit and Alistair don't share the same moveset. Like, if you have Ifrit uh, equipped, you cannot double jump because double jumping is a Alistair move. So Sparta does not share moveset with Alistair, even though it's also a sword. So you cannot double jump when you have Sparta equipped. And it's fucking so annoying. <laughs> now where the fuck is the door? God damn it. Where the fuck is the door I'm supposed to go into? You cannot double jump with Sparta. And it's like, why? Why would you do why? this? Number one, the double jump is so fucking expensive. It's like 4,000 fucking red ears. <laughs> And I don't know why they would do this. Oh. Yeah. 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 Where's the Come on. Where's the door? I know it's here. I know you're right here doing bad. You can't double jump, but you know what you can do? A move so stupid I have literally never used it or acknowledged it. <laughs> is you can do the round trick, which is a move where you throw the fucking sword. And it's so fucking stupid and bad, and why would anyone do this? So now we're back in the courtyard where we first fought the shadow. And now, uh, those who seek the truth shall put the egg in the basket. Naturally. Naturally. I've always said that. It may take some time. So, go ahead and fight this boss again. Here it is again. Here's the second time you can fight this boss again. Oh, he like tried to do the move that makes you- Oh! <laughs> he did it right away, damn. <laughs> He's really excited. So we're doing this again. So we fought Phantom. Uh, so who's another boss that we fought and need to fight again now? I don't actually have to use Sparta, but Sparta's actually a really good weapon aside from the fact it doesn't have double jump. And also, actually, uh, uh, it doesn't have Devil Trigger either. If you notice, we don't have the Devil Trigger uh, meter underneath our life anymore. Uh, but that's okay, because what Sparta does is it does the same amount of damage that the normal weapon would do if you were in Devil Trigger. So it's like having Devil Trigger permanently equipped in terms of how much damage it does. Uh, the only thing, the only trade-off is, you know, normally Devil Trigger will, like, heal you. So you can't do that if you have Sparta equipped. But you're doing so much damage that who needs to fuck... 
Who needs that? Because you're killing enemies so fast. Who needs that shit? Who even gives a shit? You know what I'm saying? Who gives a C? A C? Oh. <laughs> That's not the C word I thought you meant. <laughs> Fuck you, your I mean, I wouldn't. Nobody would, really. Look at how much I'm just shaving life off this guy. Lawnmower. Aw, oh, Griffin, you are so cool. But you're dead now. No one loves you. Goodbye. You come back. You come back in DMC5. It's really exciting. Ooh, bright. So immediately taken off a shitload of health. Right at the beginning. You should not have blown your load. <laughs> this boss fight's really fucking annoying on hard mode because Dante just refuses to aim for those fucking things on the wall. And also, that happens! God damn, it was so fucking annoying. Oh, Come on. Uh, but, look at how much damage that does, even though we're not in Devil Trigger because it's Sparta, so it just automatically does the Devil Trigger damage. Devil damage. Devil Trigger damage. Oh, he just a on my head. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, do the thing. Do the do, baby. Not that thing. <laughs> Fuck this. There, you're dead. Fuck you. Asshole. God damn, you were hard on fuck. Like, hard is. Hard mode is so fucking difficult. I don't know how anyone can enjoy playing it on hard mode. Because it does that thing. A strange voice from inside. from the transformed stone is echoing inside my head. No kidding. Dante! <laughs> for fuck's sake, you have become schizophrenic. <laughs> Elixir. So now go back to the room with the mirror. Remember that room? Yes. Go back there. Okay. Okay. Mission clear. And now the mission clear is in red, because we have Sparta. Find the corrupt- enter the corrupted world. Let's buy stuff. I don't know why I fucking bought that. <laughs> I'm not- I'm using Sparta, so I do, I'm not using Devil Trigger anymore. So I bought the thing that gives me more Devil Trigger, because I'm smart. Fucking Christ. Fucking... Yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> Runs past a room full of enemies. You, sir? Real, my fair gentleman. The elixir is responding strongly to the other painting. Gotta go to uh, King DVD. Uh, Bomb Bomb Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> the doors vanished due to the evil powers. Scary. <laughs> Dante, you're such a prick. Oh, you fucking asshole, Dante. 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 Don't. Don. Dante. Oh. oh. Uh, that remake is just, that reboot just fucking makes me so mad. God damn it. It's so bad. Because, like, it's, f like, I can't even get into it. <laughs> I can't even get into it while I am playing this video. Please don't play DM DMC Devil May Cry. It is a bad game. But, it's a bad game that did something good with how bad it is. Because DMC Devil May Cry was such a bad game that it bombed now we're in the mirror world that it bombed so so hard it bombed so hard that it bombed twice <laughs> they released that game twice and it bombed both fucking times they released it and it bombed so hard and then they released it again and it bombed again! 
These enemies are the fucking worst, by the way. Look at how creepy they are. Uh, yeah, my goodness. They are the they are so fucked up, and I hate them. <laughs> uh, so these are the hardest holdover from this used to be a Resident Evil game enemies ever. <laughs> because look at them. Yeah. Look at these fucking Resident Evil BLWs. <laughs> I don't think there's a cool way to kill them. They just kind of suck. You have to go back to Al- The only way I can think of is you have to go back to Alistair. God damn it, I hate them so much. <laughs> and do the helm sweater to break their mask to shrink. God damn it, just fucking being an asshole. I hate these guys. I hate these guys. I hate these guys. Fucking. Just. God damn it. Oh my god. Damn butt kick. Fuck this. There we go. Here's how you're supposed to fight them. <laughs> Fucking hate these stupid things. And look, they, they're dying in like vicious explosions and the, it does damage to you. <laughs> if you walk into that, they can still kill you even after they're dead. <laughs> they are so terrible. Like those ants. Yes. Just like ants.